going on a road trip today. I'm going to Copacabana in New South Wales, the central coast for the weekend. And I'm so excited. I'm actually going with my friend Ella. I'm just waiting for her at the moment. Cause surprise, I'm driving, which is really uncommon. But I need to come back early to Sydney to get my hair done. Um, so I decided that, well, we decided that it would be best if I drove. But yes, I'm going to be filming hopefully a lot. But yeah, I'm like fixing my hair right now. But I'm just waiting for Ella. So I thought it would be a good time to film. I'm really excited. I feel like I packed too much, which I always do. But you know when it's like, I'm opening some sparkling water, by the way. But you know when you just, how do I say this? When you go on a, on a weekend trip, you tend, it feels like you're packing more things because you just have things that you need to carry as opposed to if it was like a week or two week trip it'll just be like extra clothes but all of the, like the hair care stuff my Dyson my skincare my makeup like all of those things still need to be packed so I have like an overnight bag and I have a tiny little suitcase well not tiny but like you know those cabin suitcases and I'm like I think I packed a lot but whatever I'm driving so it's fine and I also packed my camera, well obviously because I'm filming right now, but like my laptop and stuff. So I will actually be doing some editing. I have so many videos lined up um, that have yet to be posted. I'm going to be editing a lot more videos. And yeah. Also I'm using this hand cream. It's by L'Occitane. The Almond One. This is, I've been using this for like over 10 years. It's always in my car. I always, I also have like little travel size versions of them and like the smaller one and the oil, the shower oil and the huge jar as well at home. This is my favorite. It smells amazing. It's so hydrating. It's actually the best thing ever. Um... And I love it so much that so if you guys haven't used it yet or if you don't know about this, go on it, try it. It is the best thing ever. It will change your life. I love how it makes my skin feels. Oh, so nice. It smells amazing as well. And also, if you look, I broke one of my nails and my appointment isn't until Thursday. There's a band-aid on my finger until then. I'm kind of annoyed. I wanted to cut them all off or like I was going to go and just do a temporary removal on all of them. But I want to, it was like the most awkward time because I have a wedding next week and I want my nails to be long. But so because this one broke, I'm going to have to add an extension on top and my appointment's on Thursday. So I didn't want to like get them done, wait like a few days not even a week and then get them done again that's just kind of annoying and i don't really have the time for that so band-aid solution it is We've arrived! <laughs> Finally, after how long of driving? Two hours? Two hours, yeah. Alright, there's a car coming. How good is this place? What if I showed you? restaurant. The interior is really cute. Look at all these lanterns. And then that little tiger. It's giving Kenzo. <laughs> yeah. So we got Power Ranger. Power Ranger? I th I'm thinking of doing these nails and Ella says it's giving Power Ranger. <laughs> Anyways, today we have crispy tofu bites and chicken pets are you. It's funny because it came out so quickly but also this is a main not yes. an entree like we ordered two entrees so weird. Do you call it the scores? 
like I like to dip it. Oh, it's here. Dip it. Ready? It's like a sweet chili with peanut sauce. To be very very saucy, and then I'm gonna try that for you. That was kind of eggy. Ooh, it's very good. It's okay. Not bad. This is my favorite soft shell crab. Does it look appetizing to you? Not really. But it's so it's yummy. It's so yummy. Okay, let me see if it like if this one is good. You eat everything. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's meat. It's meat. They took they took the thing off. Mm. And then we also got the Penang with tofu and veggies, but it, there's only broccoli and cucumber. <laughs> oh, yeah, make carrots. <laughs> Well, in the day is a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah. We're coming back tomorrow. Oh my gosh, this is like my dream come true. Okay, fun story time. The last time I had Takis was when I was in Barcelona and I was really drunk coming home from a bar and I saw Takis at like some random grocery store. Me was there as well. And I was eating Takis in bed. I fell asleep, I passed out with Takis on my, like on me. <laughs> of eating Takis I passed out and the bag was just on top of me and Mia photoshopped it like the end because I was like lying down like that she also photoshopped me like in like space <laughs> with like Takis on my face. That's oh, like the Toy God, Story guy. Yeah yeah literally. And we're at Yoga Perry now. Yeah. I love Yoga Berry. I'm always at Yoga Berry. Oh, she's a watermelon girl. Have I? This is the best flavor, guys. It's my favorite one of all time. Can you do mine too? One more. Are you just getting this one? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Thanks. Yum. Okay, and my combo is always coconut shrimp. I'm excited. And then the little flavorings. I don't do a lot, but I always do mochi. Colors are so pretty. <laughs> I am 
end up getting that in this chair. When I'm in Sydney, I always get yoga berry. This was such like an iconic artist when we were younger. So they didn't have it anymore. Hi guys, I am getting ready for bed now, but I thought it would be fun to film a what are they called? Like a get unready with me? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, just putting my hair up because I washed my hair this morning. So I'm not gonna be washing it now. But yeah, basically I have already removed all of my jewelry. Look, I have a missing finger. Missing not finger, missing nail because it broke off. Basically what I like to use when I take off all of my makeup is a cleansing balm. I'll either use a cleansing balm or cleansing oil, but because I'm at a getaway right now, I'm using a cleansing balm, mostly because it is really, really great to travel with and it doesn't leak like an oil would, but at home normally I would use a cleansing oil. Um, but I grab like such a generous amount, like that much. And I rub it into my hands first. Oh, nighttime routine, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, rub into my hands first. And then all over my face. I don't have a lot of makeup on today. I only have like light powder and eyebrow. So that's like the areas that I will be targeting most. But if you are wondering what are the really good skincare things to use instead of use a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil because it protects the skin barrier and it melts away your makeup and your imperfections. Oh, it melts, it melts away your makeup so well. There, go there. And I know a lot of people don't like to use like oil-based products. I used to also go like down there as well. When they have false or like eyelash extensions like mine, but I basically just avoid the eye area. And when I shower as well, I like make sure that like it avoids eyelash area. Oh, look at that, it's already like basically gone. Here, na, 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 na. Mostly like into the crevices. And it's such a great way to remove your makeup. Well done. And I'm gonna go shower now, but I'll be back to show you my nighttime routine. And here we are. I have my camera pop, propped up on um, like this towel hanger. This so I hope it doesn't fall. So usually I like, like to let my face air dry um, because I don't like wiping my towel on my face because I feel like the towel has like a lot of bacteria. So I usually won't do that. First things first, I also found better lighting guys. Um, I am using the Lancome Micellar Water. This is one I've been using for quite some time now. Normally I would use the Garnier Micellar one because I quite like that one too. Just to make sure that my skin is all clean and nice and there's nothing and then I kind of just go like that, just across. And then the second step that I have been using lately is the Innisfree green tea seed serum this one has five hyaluronic acids and i basically just do three pumps of this and i would take the advanced snail mucin as well if it will show you this one pat that in next what i've been using is the dr jart vital hydrogen solution and this is the eye cream I quite like this one for winter because it's quite thick and I feel like it's really hydrating. But I'll only do like half a pump of this because a little bit honestly does go a long way. Put it on my ring finger and then for the top, whatever's left over on my finger, I'll just like do like my fine line area. And then for my cream and moisturizer, this is something that I've been using for a while now. This is something that from France. I saw a lot of good reviews on it online and honestly on TikTok and like Instagram. <laughs> Hyaluron filler plus times three effect. And this one is really hydrating. It's really nice on my skin and 
it gives you almost like a filled look on your face. So I quite like it. Um, and then I grab like that much, so like a pea-sized amount, and rub it in. And then I'll rub it into my face. And then the last thing that I'll go into just to make sure that it seals everything is my Laneige water mask. Um, and this one is such a great one for winter, especially because I feel like it really just helps seal everything in. It's something that it's like really nice for nighttime before I go to bed. And it's like really like nice and cooling, like a nice generous amount. But there you have it, my nighttime routine. All right, bye guys.